All right, y'all. So mm-hmm. we back for another episode of After Class, and we have we we coming up upgraded. Okay. We coming up, you guys. Coming we are up. in a different location, as you guys can see. If you guys are watching this, um, and I think I like this better because it's like a balance of. The red couch that we were in, and then the studio. <laughs> what you laughing at? I'm She's laughing because these mics are so high tech. I could hear Ariane slurping on that ice. <laughs> she I, said, I literally drank, and I was like, "Oh shit!" I looked her dead in her eyes. She said, <laughs> <laughs> "Yeah, yeah, we can hear a swallow. Oh, shit, we can fine, hear, bitch. Okay. Yeah, if you guys are listening to this, you can hear everything. Okay, okay. Crunch on we're no on ice. the whole other yeah. end of the spectrum. We used to be on the couch, like. <laughs> like Crunch, crunch and ice can't have full nothing. separate conversations can't and shit. Can't swallow saliva. Swallow. Yeah, full separate conversations. Now we can't oh, do that we shit. Can't we do can't do that hear everything. Gotta act right. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> right can't back. mumble. People are like, we're, they're still talking over each other, B. Correct. <laughs> Sorry, I don't think that'll ever. Correct. I don't think that'll ever change. <laughs> yeah, so if we laugh, okay, so y'all know we, f- we. We gotta laugh quiet? No, you just gotta move oh. away from your thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> you gotta move away from your, whatchamacallit? Right. Anyway, people who are listening and watching, yeah, new location change. Um, this actually might be the one, so maybe we can get used to it. So okay. shout out to Third Wheel Podcast for letting us book. Uh, we got Jazz up in the building. Say what's up, a. We got Ali up in the building. Say, say what's, what's up, a. We finally got Sis back up in the building. Say, say what's, what's up, a. My bitch. And okay. we have a special guest, John up in the <laughs> building. Say <laughs> what's up, a. Say what's, what's up. up. Hey, y'all, check my story. I'm for the post, Tim. Y'all, look, look at this. <laughs> if y'all don't know who John is, John is the Full Out TV man yes. up in the building, okay? He's Owner of Full Out TV. He has literally filmed so much. Like, with Zuri and with Tally, John, like, literally mm-hmm. completes the whole production crew of Queens and Lettos. He's been... Definitely. Yeah, he has been responsible for pretty much a lot of what you see on YouTube and all of my full-out TV stuff, obviously, because mm-hmm. he's the face of it. So, yeah. um, well, for, uh, since I'm on you, John, let's start with you, and then we'll get to what Sis has been doing. So, John, why don't you, like, just tell the listeners, the after-class listeners, we... We built After Class together. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We started in the dance studio. You were the tech guy. You were doing, we were, you know, those little ghetto ass mics that we had. <laughs> that was sorry, cute. Y'all. He was doing, yeah, y'all. sorry, y'all. I was trying. I was trying. <laughs> we were trying our best. He's like, damn, now I don't. <laughs> okay, right. I do video. <laughs> yeah, I do video only, not audio. Okay. Um, We did what we could. <laughs> Speak up. We did our best, y'all. Ghetto Productions. <laughs> ghetto Productions. <laughs> That's okay. I'm yeah, still but why um, don't, maybe we, maybe you can tell us, like, how we, how you even started Full Out TV. Like, what made you even, like, branch out to, starting that you know what i mean yeah going from just filming like class videos and concept videos dope 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 content but what made you want to build something of your own where all of these videos can live yeah so um i'm from arizona and um i started i was doing like music videos and stuff out there and then uh i did a music video with dancers and i really liked it so then i was like let's move on i kind of want to start filming dancers so then i started working with like dancers in arizona and dance studios and then I kind of thought of like doing like an online thing back in Arizona. Like I even went out and bought the mics. I bought everything, bought pretty much all the gear that I would need to start doing like online classes and stuff like that. Right. And then I realized Arizona's cool. Like dancers are cool there, but there's just really not any like well-known choreographers out there. There's like a lot of talented people, but there's just not a lot of people out there to make a platform like that where it would succeed. So I kind of like put that on on the bookshelf for a little bit. And then I moved out here and then I started working with another production company that does like a similar thing. And so I kind of just put all my eggs into that basket and was like, let me help. They're already doing what I wanted to do. Let me push this. Let me see what I can do. I think we've all been a part of those situations. Yeah, yeah, (laughs) where we we kind of like have an idea, but we give it to someone else or like we not even give it to someone else. We just help. We just help elevate other people, you know, other people's visions. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which is good. Like, yeah. there's obviously we need people like that. But if, you, if you're if you very like entrepreneurial mindset type of person where which I think all four of us are like, we have to be like, you know, we'll eventually branch out and like create our own oh. brands. And I think that's what everyone in L.A. tries to do. And, right. And, you know, so obviously things changed and then I ended up going my own separate way. And then I was thinking, I'm like, do I still want to keep doing dance videos? Do I still want to keep doing that? And yada, yada, yada. I was like, yeah, I do. And then I was like, okay, well, let me think of this thing from two years ago. And I started conceptualizing it like last year. 
And then like it took like six months to really kind of launch it. I think I started like last August and in January is when I launched it. And then March is when we really started taking off with it. So it's been a lot of fun. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. You yeah. guys really, I really got to respect you for doing that because it really is not easy to be a part of something that you've, you know, invested all of yeah. your time and energy yeah. in towards this other person's, you know, dream and vision and Ooh. then to leave and then do your own thing, which people who know my story, that's kind of like a little bit where I was, Jazz. Yeah. <laughs> You kind of feel the same way too, bitch. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I plead the fifth. I but anyway, fifth. so so John, just one last thing on Full Out TV. So now it's like with this podcast because Full Out TV is like very much a part of this podcast. It's yeah. like has been producing it. You know what I mean? It's like we're branching off. You're branching off to other things other than just dance. Yeah, yeah. Can we? Ex can the watchers and the viewers expect more than just dance from Full Out TV? Yeah. So Full Out TV, I think, w initially was launched as like an online dance tutorial platform, online classes and stuff. But now we're kind of like trying to transfer it into more of like a network thing where there's a lot more going on like like this podcast yep we want to introduce fitness pretty soon which will mm -hmm. probably be in the next Boy, week or no. two yeah we're gonna have a lot of fitness stuff going on on full out tv so mm -hmm. first the time. yeah because mm -hmm. you, you know, know i know a lot of people are can get intimidated with dance because it's it is hard dance is hard and yeah. i think if we can implement fitness which a lot of people want and do That'll help, but also implement dance into that. I think people have a lot of fun and not be so intimidated to take a dance class because it's right. more about the fitness aspect 100%. of it. Right. So that'll be, you know, coming out soon. And then obviously, um, I think creating more like dance visuals and just visuals in general like that aren't necessarily about learning a class video, just right, creating right, like... Right really dope Art period yeah, yeah just creating dope Hell visuals yeah. and stuff like that have so. it just be another platform for creatives that's exactly. literally what it is full out tv is just a platform for creatives right. yeah full out is not just going full out in a dance perspective but going full out in every single way mm -hmm. and anything that you're doing is exactly. like going full yeah, full yeah. Full so forth, yeah. There's a lot more to come, so... Come on, join Just me on an Full Out TV. <laughs> and actually, speaking of Full Out TV, if you guys are listening and watching, you know you can go to FullOutTV.com. We got the man up in the building to confirm it. <laughs> Hell yeah. You can go to FullOutTV.com, type in um, any video that you want, whether it be one of my Queens and Lettos classes, any of the choreographers that's on there, and you can get a cute little discount from us if you just type in after class and get a 50% discount. Yes, 50. 50. 50. Valid, 50. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I didn't even know that it was 50. That's I was like, man, right. right. I didn't know we was giving 25. you all that. That I'm is a <laughs> discount. 25%. Oh, you know, 10% no tax. Right. I no, no, no shipping fee, whatever the fuck. That processing fee. Okay. That's <laughs> Black Friday. Okay. That is a Black Friday that, Okay. <laughs> Black Friday every Just day. real okay. generous. Sis, I'm going to move to you, bitch, because you know, you, uh, you missed last episode because yeah. you were in San Jose. How was that? San Jose was cool. Um, It's always really nice to like, get out of LA and be in the bay and be in <laughs> she's mm -hmm. just hella mad <laughs> and be in, and be in the bay um, and even though it's like still California it's just I feel like with quarantine it any little chance that I get to just take a little break it's nice to take a little break so that was cool went with Nicole's um you we, know they love hearing her. about you and Nicole we saw, <laughs> they love no, they want to know everybody have you thing. seen the comments they're like oh I just wish sis would talk I would Ariane would talk about Nicole a little bit more oh my god I love when Ariane mentions Nicole <laughs> What about Tally, bitch? You right? I'm like, damn, Tally. We've heard enough. We've heard enough and seen enough for five fucking years. I don't know why I feel like I can't cuss it in this building, but no, I know. I feel like I've restrained myself. I'm sitting very proper. I feel too very proper. I've restrained myself a couple times. Like this is not the red couch anymore, bitch. Okay, we're like, I'm sorry. Wait, let's no, don't say bitch. Get that out. They get mad when we say bitch. They get mad when we say bitch. What? We've been saying that for since the beginning of time. Yeah, no, they're gonna have to get over that one. Bitch, we had a whole sweatshirt. We had a whole sweatshirt. Who bitch? Who bitch? I don't understand. <laughs> They're gonna have to get over that one. I'm sorry. Sorry about sorry, that. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Don't don't take it offensive. Uh -huh. That's what I said. Yeah, y'all need we to say bitch. Though. If we say bitch, it's that means endearing. we love you. Yeah. Okay. We love you. There you go. If we don't call you bitch, it, that's, that's the problem. Right. right. <laughs> if I'm addressing you by your name, <laughs> y'all, you got. I just feel like listener listeners of podcast period. Just 
Huh? You guys are listening for a reason, some type of reason to be entertained, to get to know us. Like our opinion, like we're trying our best. And usually we don't. Usually I feel like people that's in this spotlight, they're so, so like into themselves and they they can't express themselves in a way that's like free or whatever and we're trying to do that with this podcast because we're trying to make it as real as possible so you can really feel like you're a part of this conversation you're with us you know us bfs you know what i'm saying all that but when y'all when y'all feel like when y'all just nitpick at every little thing that we be saying it kind of just say it, it kind of just takes away you know what i'm saying the yeah, freedom. Like, the, the freedom. freedom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to say it in the nicest way as possible because they're probably going to be like, <laughs> <laughs> God, the, you know freedom. the freedom. Oh, like, shit. we're all people. We all have our opinions. I like, never had a filter in my life. No I filter up in this building. No. Say what's, what's up. up. Okay. okay. So, no just disclosing that at the beginning of this motherfucking yeah. episode. Yeah. Sis, please continue. So, bitch. Um, right. San Jose. <laughs> right. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> bitch. So, bitch. Um, right. So, we went to San Jose, um, visited Nicole's parents. That was really cool. And then, let's see, how long were we there? Like, a what? long ass yeah, fucking time, like bitch. I was depressed. Like a week. <laughs> Just blew her phone up every day. I was like, oh, yeah. I need you. Somebody somebody, somebody blow me up. She's like, I'm at breakfast. (laughs) Hmm. I be forgetting you're just not as accessible when you're in L.A. So can you come back, please? I'm done with her. Done with her. Um, And then... When did I move? Two days ago? Two yeah, days ago. Yeah, she moved. Two days uh, ago, I moved into my new apartment, bitch. Yes. That's why I'm fucking exhausted today. But yeah. I moved into my new apartment. It's I'm so excited about mm-hmm. it. I think last night last night was the night that I kind of got everything together so I can actually walk in my apartment because at first, Before, like, oh my God, it literally looked like somebody robbed me. <laughs> it was terrible. Mm-hmm. So got that done. I'm super, I'm super excited to like build and have my own place because I've been staying with Nicole since quarantine. I moved right. out. Of, yeah, like I moved out of my old one bedroom at the end of December. So I've been staying with her since a year. Then. Yeah, damn wow. near a year. Damn near a year, so. So y'all didn't think to just be like, bitch, we, we've we been doing it. We've been sharing this rent. We've been living together. We are together. So I might as well just motherfucking stay, bitch. We did. We what did think? think. We did think about it, but. She said, you I still need, need your space. Mm-hmm. And I that have space to, is lit. That's, it is lit. That I have to. Lit. Yeah, Nicole came over last night and she was like, Damn. bitch. <laughs> she was like, wait, I'm ready to move. I don't want to go back to my place. Right. Yeah, it, um. It it's it's really nice. I'm just the kind of person, and I think it's from like past past relationship too. I moved out here like with my ex. We lived together. I I'm that. not ready to live with anybody mm, yet until. Oh um, yeah, once I'm engaged or once once we're getting to that point, cool. But yeah, I'm still enjoy. I've only lived by myself for one year out of my entire life, so mm. like I'm still enjoying that. That's a valid point. I love like having my own space, and it keeps the relationship exciting. Yeah, like, true. Yeah, even, true. You know, because it's like even last night when she came over just to help a little bit, like it was like yeah, she's coming over. It like, was something it's, new. It's like yeah, it makes it it makes it exciting versus just like waking up every day. And we're doing like the same routine, and obviously being in in quarantine plays like a big part of that, but. I don't know. It just, I think it was a perfect, I think it happened at a perfect time. Yeah. You know, so maybe maybe next year, depending on how things, how things go, go yeah. like, yeah. But right now, I'm so happy. Right, right. So happy with my little one bedroom. Yeah. One group. bedroom with mm-hmm. a den. One bedroom with a den. Okay. Build my little vanity room. I That's think Tally, um, Elliot, I think Tally is um, don't let him trying in. to get me my <laughs> Starbucks. Hi, honey. Triple oat milk. You heard that from the mic? Through the mic? No, I just see you. I see oh. you at the door. What'd you say? He yeah, what'd you say? You said no, something slick. I was slick. knocking on the door. Oh, 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 oh. Give me my triple grande oat. ice triple yeah. vanilla latte with oat milk. Did you check it? Let me see the sticker. Yep. 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 You said what? They messed mine up. <gasps> so brings did you get a fix? to our next story. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm like, which brings us to our next shoes. story. <laughs> wow, you just set us up you so set perfectly, us honey. Up. Okay, which brings us to our next topic. So basically, yes. You heard the ice? Didn't the ice sound good? All right. It's like ASMR. No, that. uh, This is the story for Mm. today's episode. Listen to this one. I'm scared. Listen to this one. 
Gotta meditate before, bitch. Okay. So I don't Dang, get mad all, all over again. What the fuck happened? I saw you seven seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> This must be like juicy. I had to meditate again. before I get mad all over again. No, get mad. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Bitch, I was. Mm-hmm. Is it gonna get spicy? Yeah, oh. it's gonna get real spicy. Okay, okay so I don't know what y'all. I don't know what your feeling is about your coffee, but I'm very particular with my mm-hmm. coffee. Very particular about a lot of things. You about to get mad over some coffee? Hold on. <laughs> you better have the best. <laughs> no, I'm trying to build you up. I'm trying to build this up oh, before this I the get analogy. I'm trying to build it up, and the build up is very necessary because it this actually it, it plays a part. It's the intro. Okay, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it cute. Keep it cute. On that side. <laughs> I don't like that. We professional. We elite production. We are build it. Okay. <laughs> um. I'm very particular with my coffee, chocolate chip cookies, like just so many different things with my burgers, all that shit, right? <laughs> So when I say grande ice, triple vanilla latte with oat milk, I expect all of that to be in here. It's actually, it actually took a long time for me to find this perfect little coffee mm-hmm. from Starbucks. I actually didn't like Starbucks. I liked coffee bean. Mm, I, I like like little mom and pop shops. Coffee bean. Coffee bean. You know what I'm saying? I was like, Starbucks a is so hit. fucking overrated. People be going to Starbucks way too fucking much. Just and they're so Starbucks. like, yeah, mm-hmm. it's just they're too particular, whatever, whatever. But bitch, <laughs> I'm that person. Okay. Because I found it. I figured it out. I go to a specific Starbucks every time after me and my mom hike. We go hiking right. every Saturday, whatever right. the situation is. Shout out to you, mother, if you're listening. Anyway, go to this particular Starbucks, and they always, always forget either the vanilla, How you the oat, that? or the triple. They <laughs> they forget. They Not forget one of the three options. One of the three <laughs> options they forget, bitch. How? And each one plays a part. My triple espresso, the oat to give it the creamy, the grande to make sure it's all the grande like proportion. <laughs> not because no, because yeah, if you put that yeah. in a venti, it's gonna be fucked. It's gonna be watered. Up. Down. It's gonna be right. fucked up. It's gonna be mm-hmm. too motherfucking right. milky. Yep. If I put it in a motherfucking tall, tall it's gonna be too motherfucking sweet. coffee. Right. <laughs> Just she wrong. got the math down. She got the math down. <laughs> okay. So it had it's it's very everything is very essential and important. So this past Saturday, mother and I walk into Starbucks. I say, give me that grande triple vanilla ice uh, with oat milk. Okay, whatever. She gives it to me. I wait a long motherfucking time. She gives it to me. I check the sticker. This is why they have stickers, so you can check to see if they got it right. So I checked the sticker. It must say triple vanilla and oat. Oop, don't see the vanilla. I said, miss, I said, miss, is there vanilla in here? Because, you know, sometimes maybe they just didn't type it in. <laughs> she checked her sticker. <laughs> You're like, so wait. Let me double check. Yeah, I didn't see the vanilla. So Man. very calmly, miss, is there vanilla in here? She was like, "Did it? does it say vanilla? No, bitch. Look, I'm, I'm mad too. <laughs> no, not. that's why I said not on something, the Shit. She says, does it say vanilla? I said, no, it doesn't. But that's exactly what I asked for. And I gave it to her. And she was like, oh, I can just give you a pump of vanilla so you can put it in. And I've been very accepting of like, if you mess up my order, you give me something to fix it, to add it in myself. Right. Mm-hmm. But right. I'm like, wait, that's why I'm paying five fucking dollars so for this. So you can make, make it. Yeah. yeah. If I wanted to make it, I could put it in my Keurig at home. Bitch, <laughs> period. Period. So I was like, so I was like, no, um. I can you can remake it. I'll wait. And so she was Did you like, say it like that. She was no. I I just said well. I, I just need the did. I need the full details. I'm just trying to understand. Was it like can you please remake or is like oh mm-hmm. no no well, I need, no not, I was over probably it. not by then if she's like well does it say vanilla by she's then? a lot Thank better you, sis. Thank at you. keeping her cool though that's like, why I was asking you're good at keeping your cool mm-hmm. longer than because that's would have been my initial mm-hmm. that's why I was just clarifying no I, it was very snappy and smart it was snappy and smart sure. I was like no okay. I'll wait you can remake it thank you. It was probably something oh. like that. Okay, period. But, you but sh- it's been a lot. It's been you said it happens a lot at the Look store. at John getting comfy chiming right. in. <laughs> Don't call me out. Oh, sorry. I'm, just, I'm just in the car. Oh, I'm just kidding. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'm it's nervous. Fine. Yeah, no. He's John is not to chime in anymore. <laughs> John is absolutely right. If this was the first time, then I probably would have been like right, more understanding. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, but they yeah. stay fucking up. Well, and if you didn't, if you didn't come to me with attitude when I literally said it nicely the first time, is there like, vanilla in this? It's customer service. Obviously not. 
Okay, yeah. period. Keep, keep Don't wake up okay. in a bad mood, bitch. So then she remakes it. It's great. Grandioso. Go back. Grandioso. This was like, it was grandioso. I was very happy. Go back to the car with my family. My whole family came hiking. It wasn't just right. me and my mom. It was me, my mom, my aunt, Tally, my stepbrother, his girlfriend, like, Zuri oh, came. Zuri. I think that was the that was the morning I was supposed to go. Yeah. yeah Zuri came. Tristan, my little brother. Everybody was there. We're talking. We're talking near our car. All of a sudden. Bitch, this, this is the guy All right of a here. sudden, this, I mean, should I say? Mm-hmm. This, to me. Now this woman, now this woman comes up to me, comes up, and she's like, "You are an entitled bitch." No, oh! you are. And I was like, wait. I thought it was a motherfucking dream. Wait, she comes no. up. Yeah, jazz, jazz wait, no. jazz, wait, no, 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 jazz, no, 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 wait, no, jazz, jazz, wait. See, you're getting hot, right? Because you, I'm, I you meditate. can't tell friends, the... bro. I'm That's telling. why I had. Did to you meditate. know said woman? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> She comes up to me and she's looking at me. She's looking at me like this. You are an entitled bitch. You're an entitled bitch. And I was like, Oops. like literally attacking me. My mom is there. Tally. No, Tally was not there. He was he was actually he was uh, getting my drink or my he was chest. fixing funny or something like yeah, that. Bro, I know. But so serious. And I was like, I laughed. I was like, oh, am I? Because I thought she knew me. <laughs> I thought she knew me. I thought she was like, yeah, you're a fucking Aaliyah Janelle. You're an entitled bitch. (laughs) I thought she was going to say that. But then this is what she said. But then this is what she said. (laughs) She was like, the way you were so rude to that Starbucks, uh, to that Starbucks worker was just so out of hand. Like you, you completely took advantage of her. And the way things are going right now, you would expect, you know, everybody in this world to be kind to one another. I said, no. She can fix my drink because that's exactly what I paid for. Just exactly how you paid for that motherfucking drink in your hand. I bet you it wouldn't be a fucking problem. You know what I'm saying? I bet you it would be a problem if she didn't make your drink right. Or maybe maybe it wouldn't be a problem. But when I pay for things, my good people, when I pay for things, I expect it to be right in what I ordered. Because I've been in customer service. Right. That's what that bitch didn't know. Yeah, you you literally worked in food. Like, I you worked, worked yeah, food I worked in customer sure. service. She was a server. Like, and that's my thing. That that is literally my thing. Everybody makes mistakes. If you fuck up, if you fuck up my drink or if you fuck up my order, fine. But what you're not gonna do is you're not gonna you're not gonna come at me. You're not gonna come at me crazy when I'm like, hey, um, does this have vanilla in it? Or hey, like I ordered so and so. You're not about to come at me crazy. Yeah, she didn't know the that's whole, how you exactly. She didn't and know the whole you, story. She didn't you know can mind your goddamn business. Mind and all of my business because I'm about to get motherfucking mad. Bro, bitch. I then my mom, my mom came in. She was like, you know what? You can just walk. Yeah. I, my mom actually handled it way better than she would have. Bitch. But she was like, you can just walk away. My whole family was like, walk away. Tally brings out his phone because he didn't really know the extent of the conversation. But he brought out his phone because she he thought that she was a worker. Oh, and we were about to call out Starbucks and be like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. This is what this we is what get when we just want to fix. Yeah, when we just want to fix a fucking drink and just put fucking sugar syrup in the fucking drink. I'm sorry. I didn't know that it was so motherfucking hard. Turns out she wasn't a worker. But then, you know, like I was hot. I was ready to like. Oof. I was ready to get in. I was. That's what I said when she when she texted me that shit. I was like, I am some, that an is, entitled that bitch. God. I'm an entitled God. bitch. I'm entitled bitch. And I was like, well, <laughs> I guess I'm an entitled bitch. <laughs> Give so. me that vanilla. Like, oh my god, I just it dumb. was so. It was a. Uh, I would have went. L A L A P D would have. It was called. okay. L A P D would have been called. That was God looking out for me on why I didn't go hiking that morning. <laughs> because if I was there, if I would have went. What I will say, though, what I will say is that, like, literally 10 minutes afterwards, or no, like, maybe five minutes, Tally was not was nowhere to be found. And I was like, is he, is he talking to her or whatever? So I went back to my car to make sure she didn't fuck up my car because my car was, like, a couple steps, you know. Well, I wish she would have. Yeah, I thought she was going to fuck up my car. But I found her and Tally talking. And you know Tally, he's always... He's always going to be like, wow. what's going on? Like, let's like, dive deep happened? into this. Con- yeah. yeah. So they were talking and cancer. turns out. Yeah. Very <laughs> cancer. <laughs> very very cancer. I see you, brother. <laughs> turns out, <laughs> turns out, you know, she was, she was trying, she worked in customer service. She had like a bad okay, experience or something like that. And she was like, I am so sorry. Like she had, after talking to Tally, she had a moment to, yeah, she had a moment to reflect and be like, damn, I literally was trying to protect, you know, what, what did you say, honey? She was. Well, 
basically she 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 became exactly what she, she was, was trying, trying to, to protect, protect against. Yeah. Because I was like letting her know that she didn't understand the context of what has happened week after week. Right. You don't the know the same, whole story. At the same location. That's why you don't mind other people's and she business. Didn't, right. She didn't understand that the lady had went off on you being smart saying, did did it say right. vanilla on the tag right. prior to that? Prior so she just that. heard you saying, no, you can make my drink again. And I said, this is what happens. People, some something, someone lashes out. They take one thing and run yeah. with it. And they, they take one thing and run with it. But they don't say, well, all right, let's look at the context. Why is this person lashing out? Right. What, who, look at the whole context. Yeah, what what happened here? Get the whole story, y'all. And what she happened? thought she was doing the right thing. So that's why when she came in, I could see in her eyes that she was actually teary-eyed. So yeah. When she came back she out, she knew she had messed up. <sighs> mm-hmm. She was there waiting she for somebody did. to okay. bring her lost dog or something like that. She was emotional. Yeah, already. very emotional. So she was already oh, she was emotionally. Okay. Yeah, she was in an emotional space. Turmoil. You know, so, but that's all that was. Confusion. That's that's what that was. So I was just saying, like you, this is prime example of what happens a lot in the world mm. or whatnot. And she was like, "You're right, you're right." Boom, boom, boom. I could tell she had a good heart. She had good intentions. She thought she thought she was protecting someone who was being bullied, and that's what it is. But once yeah. she understood who you were, and once we talked, she got it. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I. Mm. What, what do y'all have to say? I understand. I understand. I love that. <laughs> I I love that. But Tally shouldn't have had to do all of that. That's what I'm trying to like, say. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I understand completely. <laughs> but he I'm should just have still stuck on the fact that she was in my business. <laughs> like, I cannot get over that. Like, like I get it. You're yeah. ju- yes, I you're in my business. I understand that you're like, oh, like with I my just, family. Okay, you with come up my fam. Like, you're an entitled bitch. You could have pulled me you, to the side. You could have pulled me to the side and been like. Yo, yeah. like, are you are you good? Don't don't approach me like you are an entitled bitch. Yeah, and she came you're in, an entitled bitch for coming for thinking up to you me can come talk to me any talk type of way. Like I'm in a bitch off the street in right. my business, and you don't even know what yeah. happened when she could have just came and been like, "Look, I've worked in customer service before. I can saw kind of how you talk to yes, I saw how you talked to that lady X Y and Z, and you would just be like." Look, this X, Y, and Z, this is what happened. Well, she kind of came at me with attitude. I used to yeah. work in customer service, too. Like, it's just about communicating. And I understand mm. that she was upset prior, but it's Emotional. Like, but it's yeah, like, she wasn't. Damn. Don't make that my problem. I know. Jesus. Because if I'm upset and you're upset about two separate things, please don't mix that. We ain't got shit to do with each other either. Right. right. But that's so... that's great. That's I'm so glad. Shout Tally out to Tally. To her. That's great. Couldn't have been you me. You know, Tally is on, always. Tally. And that's exactly about. why we're getting married, because he's just... Because one, two, and three right here was like, let me tell about you. Find some about you. Give me about three minutes. Give me about I'm three sure. minutes because I'm gonna have a I'm great some comeback. Shit out, bitch. I'm just a little caught off guard that you walked up to me. <laughs> okay. But once I get in my bearing, you about, you about to see blue and okay. red, blue and red lights. <laughs> The fuck? Yeah, she really um, didn't know what she was getting. She okay. was getting herself Ooh, into. Geez, she did not know. But that's great. I'm glad she had an awakening. I'm glad it was appreciate from ta- you, from Tally. Tally. Right. Yeah. Appreciate, she did have an awakening. Appreciate you, bro. She, she, Very she calm. woke now. She woke, mm-hmm. bitch. She woke. She but said, anyway, Let me keep my mouth shut. That was my story, and I just feel like I was like, what? How did I attract that? Because you know, you attract everything into your life. Anything good or bad, Are you, you an attracted bitch? it. I mean, I guess, <laughs> I guess I am. And you know what? No, this is what I'm gonna say. This is what I'm going to say is people get so mad at people that do what they have to do to get what they want. Mm. And you would think that people would be would be like would respect that. Mm -hmm. Why would I not want to get what I want? I'm going to stay here and get what I want. I'm going to go to fucking 10,000 different locations for podcasts until I get what the fuck that I want. Right. We that were in a we were in a fucking we were in a studio yeah. last week that didn't have no AC. AC. Like, Woo. right. And right. I'm not gonna compromise my comfortability <sighs> just to do that. Just, right. 100%. I'm gonna get what the fuck that I want. Hundred percent. You know what I'm I saying? I mean, especially when you're paying for something. That's my mm-hmm. thing. When, I paid for it. When you're it. paying for something, I paid for it. Yeah. It's yeah. a mindset. It has to do a lot with how yeah. we're groomed and yeah. how we go about things what? in life and the hustle that we have to constantly put out. So we go into life with everything like that. I'm going to make sure it's. Perfect. I'm gonna yeah. do what I need to do, when, what, where, how, why, whatever the fuck is going to be. Yeah. On my terms and make sure I'm doing and it. And people, people also need to understand that assertiveness. Being that's a, the word. And by being that way, like it's not being rude, you know, no. because there's a difference. I know, I know entitled people who are just complete fucking assholes and think the world revolves around them. And then I know enti- entitled people who are just like, this is what I want. And I don't even know if entitled is the no, word. No, it's assertive. Yeah. This is this is what I want. This is what I'm paying for. Make it happen, please, because we're please. working together. It's as simple as that. Yeah, we're it's working as simple together. As that. Yeah. But people don't take that extreme. well. Like no. when people, like for instance, if you ask me to do something, it's just no. Right. That wasn't rude. It was direct. I answered your question. It was assertive. I'm firm in my answer. Mm. And right. it is what it is. And sometimes people cross those lines of like, well, that's ri-. like I don't owe you an explanation either. 
Yeah, this I don't, is what it especially is. The question is, what does the word entitlement mean? The question is, what does the word entitlement mean, mean. to you? Yeah, hundred mm, percent. That's very true. Hundred percent. Because I think it's different. I, I, I think too. it can be. I feel like it can be different. Even something like um, I was just about to say this. Something like Tally's brand, like selfish. You know, people look at something like, oh well, come on, you're, oh well, drop? you're, you're come <laughs> on, <laughs> thanks. Sis. Oh well, you're Shit, being you're we a selfish. Fifty dollars. <laughs> <that's it. laughs> little plug. Little plug. <laughs> little plug. Come on. You know, like, that's a valid. That's like a valid point. Like, oh well, you're you're selfish, and it's like. Okay. Am I? Well, am I? Well, well yeah, I, I, am. I am. I guess I am. You know, and and being selfish doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a bad thing. Like I'm selfish because it's not yes, fuck everybody I know, else. It's not fuck I'm everyone else, me. but I'm also focused on me. I'm, I'm I I know what I want. I know who I am. I know what I need and deserve. You know and that is? and that's, that's fine. Black lives matter. All lives matter. Mm. That's that thing. Ooh, yep. Just that thing. Being selfish Shit. Mean, just because I'm being selfish doesn't mean f everybody else. Right. Hundred percent. Thank you, Tally. Hundred percent. Thank so, you, honey. So there's my one. goddamn end point. No, that was a very good one. Yeah, bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I just feel like people who maybe don't have the strength and don't have the courage or don't have that assertiveness that Jazz is saying, I feel like people who don't have that get m- mad and feel a way about someone who does have it. Yeah, they, they So I guess offense. that's pretty it's much what, it, yeah. like, talking shit is or just being jealous or, like, any of those negative exchanges, it's because that person who is like putting that out can't do it themselves and is like actually wanting what you have. That we actually reflection. want what the Kardashians have. have. 100%. But Stop instead, me. I'm a fucking hate on them and everybody needs to hate them so we can do whatever we can to tear them down even though they have what they have but in all reality we all want that they are financially free they have so much they have their family with them i mean granted i think the lives that they live is is not easy because they're always 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 in the spotlight can't literally hide anything can't have no privacy they're still human beings beings, but all in all they're successful. I think they're very Absolutely. successful. You know what I'm saying? And they we did what they needed that. to do to be successful. Right. And they didn't take little half ass shit if you're forgetting something for the bigger picture. Exactly. And there's a standard for whatever it is in your life, not even a standard of living for you, whatever your standard is. If you have something that needs to be complete, of course, you should be assertive yeah. about that. And Get I mean, it. That yeah, and even if it is your coffee. Exactly. And especially. Talk about my day. Exactly. And especially people like people like us, you know, it's like, yes, the Kardashians work very hard. But when you look at people like us, like, dude, like we've been there, like we've worked in customer service. You, you yep. can't, you can't, Still last, do. you know what I'm saying? We, you, we you, can't, you can't, you <laughs> can't. <laughs> Let's just let it be. <laughs> Still do. <laughs> Still do. <Please> do. Okay. <laughs> just hell, Matt. I'm not uh, very customer service lovely no, either. No, you aren't. She is not very customer service. They would is, be like, at 6 a.m., they'd be like, is the other guy coming? No, no. it's me. <laughs> fuck, fuck you trying to have a conversation, <laughs> for? I would be so good. Can you check in? It's go, too early. Right. Talking about good morning. <laughs> um, Steve. <laughs> No, I hate you. But no, that's like, it's a valid thing. It's like, you can't, oh, you can't tell me. I, I just feel like something like that. Don't come up to me and tell me all of these things when it's like, Bro, I've been there. Like, yeah. I know what customer I, yeah, service I know exactly. is, and I elevated, and I know mm. what good customer service is. Mm. And so, I'm not going to mm, treat I'm not going to treat someone like they're dirt just because they work in customer service. But I'm yeah, also absolutely. not about to let you fuck me over because I, I've been in your shoes. So come 100%. on, hundred percent. This is your on. literal job description. This is exactly to make and, what and I don't trust. And don't to try you. me because I've been there. Right. A few years ago. Like, come right. on, yesterday. Just yesterday. Just okay, yesterday. Just okay. A day ago. I still know I still know to go tonight. Gotta go tonight. I just quit. I still know the menu. <laughs> I still got my apron. So I just quit. Just quit. Apron. Manager still works there. Like, how does it? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, God. Damn. So, anyway. So, anyway, y'all, I just feel like I think all around to just bring this to full circle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just to bring this around full circle is to like not jump into conclusions about anything, to get the full story, to do your research, to get mm-hmm. the full context, yeah. to, to understand mind that. Your motherfucking business. Mm-hmm. That's motherfucking too. Mm-hmm. Keep your mouth shut if mm-hmm. you don't know everything. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, Dang. that's that. That was my story. That that happened about like two days ago or something like that. Two or three days ago, I was so hot. I thought she knew me. I was yeah, very man. afraid. Well, that, she that knew have made me. it better though. 
No, I think that would have made it worse. Yeah, that would have made it worse. I'm gonna slap shit out. Right. That would have made it worse. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Damn, bitch, you could have texted me that if you knew me. Yeah, right. you ain't had to press me in the parking lot, bitch. You could have FaceTime me, you entitled bitch. I would have been like, Yo, she was like, Oh, there she is. Here's my chance. Here's my chance. <laughs> that's Aaliyah Janelle. I've been that wanting bitch to tell her this all Yeah. Yeah. I love, I love that that's this. what your first like impression was that when she said you're an entitled bitch, like, I was oh, like, shit, She know who I am. Like, yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> she knows no, me. Know me. At first, I was like, Wait, what did I post? I was like, Did I post something? I'm like, What did we talk about it after class? Oh, shit, me and Jazz. It was our episode, bitch. We entitled. What the fuck you got to say about me? <laughs> oh, my God. That's what I thought. I was actually wow. very scared. But then I was like, flattered. I was like, come on, Nomi. Right. Come on. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching after class. <laughs> um, come on, Nomi. This will be the last episode. Okay. okay. <laughs> we are done. Um, finale. Oh, God. Finale. See y'all next so time. Once no, we it, it definitely would have been worse if, if, if it was because I was a Legion now, period. But it was because of that stupid ass scenario. And that's what made it funny. It was like, damn, that little thing. Just that. Some little- vanilla. Right, it's some, just a vanilla syrup. Some, some like, vanilla. damn, you some real vanilla. triggered. Okay, also yeah. vanilla. I, I, so triggered. I was clearly it 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 was her problem, not mine. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Yes, right. very so much. So now very much, I have so. the puppy. All that. Yeah, right. I have a sense of Turmoil. comfortability when it's like <laughs> distraught. Okay. Yeah, going through. Jeez. There's a sense of comfortability when I know that it's somebody else's problem and they're trying to make it my problem. Yeah, I'm absolutely. aware enough to kind of like identify a, like, a situation like that okay. and be like, okay, well, this is all I'm you. I'm going to let, yeah. let you have it. That's right. a you That's thing. your business. I'm exactly. I'm going to let you have it. Mm. Exactly. Jazz? Jesus, be What was your story? I don't have a story. I thought you said that you had you a story, story, bitch. Um, Come on, it's story time. Yeah. Elia, how much longer do we have? How long have we been on here? Uh, you're at 35 right now. Okay, oh, so a cute little 10 fun. more minutes. Yeah, we usually record for about 45 <laughs> minutes. If you want us to go longer or shorter, I need you to comment or just let us know. But I think 45 minutes is a cute little I like yeah, it. little I spot. Like that's like pretty normal, right? Yeah, it's yeah, a sweet 45, spot. 45. Yeah. Come on, Jazz, take it away. 10 minutes. I told y'all my story. <laughs> Let's see. Off the stories? air. And I, I like to just guys keep it that way. My, I told you guys <laughs> Let's see, do you have any stories about 24? How's work been since you started back? I'm going to get the fuck fired. Oh, you um, are? If I talk about... Actually, you know what? <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, this is this is what I will say about jazz is oh, that... Oh, God. I'm scared. A lot of people are, like, have been loving her. Mm-hmm. Oh, we could talk about my responses from last week because that is... This yeah, week has been very overwhelming. Yeah. No, yeah. talk about how people have been, like, loving what you have my to say. My heart is racing again. Why? Like, Why? Why I you- mean... I mean, Don't I you feel to... good about it though? Because mm-hmm. you have received nothing from. Lo- I just feel like people aren't used to hearing Jazz speak. No, yeah, they're not. They, they don't never, know her personality. Like, they don't know you. Right? You know what I'm saying? Unless you. you know Jazz for real and real motherfucking life, like you just don't know how Jazz is. Right. So I just feel like this podcast has really <clears throat> shown the world who Jazz is, mm-hmm. other than just a dancer. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, <laughs> can me and this get some love? I'm so sorry. They're like, you guys have had it. Goodbye. <laughs> We've given we you all you our love these, pe- these past we years. Not Jazz? See you anymore. Right. <laughs> we tired of y'all. Okay. We tired of the queen. Bitch. Shit. Tired. It's but mind. Jazz, it's just... yeah, so tell us how you've been, um, how how it's been, how this after class journey has been, even though we're still very much in the beginning. But all right, two seconds in. All of the love that you've received. Um, I mean, just specifically last week. I knew we were going to get a little bit deeper. I just didn't expect for me to word vomit the way that I did just so easily. Mm. And I think it just has to do with us. Like, we could just talk and then you kind of forget Yeah, we had a really good conversation about our dads. I don't know Mm. if you saw it. I talked to her after. It was very, like, very family-oriented. And it was very personal. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I was getting choked up. I was, like, inflicting pain on myself, like, during it. Because I was like, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Yeah, I mean, you forget that there's, like, 87 cameras on you and a mic is, like, right there. Yeah, true. I had to kind of just zone out but i'm very grateful that i did like i was the outpour of messages and people just being like i relate to you this is my story this is what's going on and then i was like fuck that's sad yeah (laughs) because like it's not like my story was skippy happy and then i was like okay well what can what can i do to like let people know that i'm hearing them that i'm seeing them because i was up like scrolling i mean like novels were being sent to me like mm-hmm. pouring down their hearts and then it's i was relatable. like i took that in like i'm a fucking stranger 
I don't know if they even know the odds of me seeing it and the fact that they felt so comfortable sharing these things. I was like, fuck, I got I have to acknowledge yeah, this. 100%. Yeah. So I went live. I was like letting people jumping on the live and I was like, how are you? How's your mental? What's going on? Like, what can I do to support you in mm-hmm. a sense? And I mean, one girl hit me up. I mean, one girl uh, FaceTimed me, but I was like, I can't. I can't Instagram FaceTime oh, you. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Oh, she tried to. Oh, she, she was, like, was like, trying to get in contact. She's yeah. great. This is my chance. <laughs> okay, it was a couple of the FaceTimes. I would look at my phone like, I know Instagram said, is not calling me. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> but, yeah. you know, I just wanted to let people know that they were heard and just yep. letting people know that it's okay to feel how you're, feel, how you're feeling. Yeah, yeah, they love that. It's okay. They, they love that. And then I ended up doing an interview right after, like, a couple days ago, and we died. D- d- dove mm-hmm, bitch mm-hmm. dived we dived <laughs> we in. dived into that <laughs> um we dove a little bit deeper into that topic and i just i was i guess more of the story glad yeah that people felt heard and could yeah. relate to it and yeah. they weren't feeling alone because it was like 15 16 year olds like i can't talk to my parents i don't know 100 if my dad even hears me or i'm in an abusive relationship and i was mm-hmm. on that live like bitch mm. tighten up mm-hmm. tighten up because mm-hmm. That was pulling out my little heartstrings. Yeah, that would have been a. Yeah. That would have been. A it was hard, and I was nervous. I don't ever get, get nervous just talking to people. I'm like, I'm on my live in the living room, fucking up some sushi. Right. And then I just like felt my hands getting clammy, and I was like, this is a serious ass topic. Yeah. Very and I'm, serious. you know, I guess grateful for for this opportunity to be able to speak on mm-hmm. it because I people were like, I didn't think you would go through something like that. You look so yeah, fucking happy. They they, yeah, you they look don't like you keep it, yeah. it together, like you're. People don't, yeah. they don't All in all, I just feel like for us, we are, yes, we're dancers. Yes, we are who we are. Yes, the numbers. Yes, Instagram. Yes, YouTube. Yes, all of that. But I, most importantly, we are a representation of so many people out there. Like yeah. they, we are them. They are us. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And we're, and we're just, we're doing it for them. And like, yeah. I was I glad they could see that. Yeah. yeah. I was very glad, glad that it was so able happy to be that shown. you guys can, for the people who are watching and listening, that you guys can relate to us. Cause we are you guys, you know what I'm saying? When I look at my idols, when I look at the JLo's, the Beyonce's, the Rihanna's, I see myself in all of them. Right. And that's why we follow them. And that's why we're so obsessed. Cause it's like, damn, that's me, bitch. That's yeah. me. Mm-hmm. If she could do it, I could I do, can it. do it. Absolutely. 100%. Like, that's the biggest thing to still you know be able saying? to get through it and, and like still be able to and then when, make this life of yours yeah. and still make dreams yeah. happen, all that. Like, yeah. I said on the thing, like, w- your current situation will not defeat you or define you. Like, yeah. don't yeah. sit in that too long and, and feel like that's your identity and, and now what you have to live in. Right. And I think uh, so many people get caught up like looking at looking at I don't even necessarily want to say the now I mean because we still go through shit but like Weird. you know they, they get caught up looking at the the, the glory and the glamorous and the, the positive Instagram part. Instagram the the technically really the not reality Fake you know social shit. media is not that's not reality you know so right. they get caught up looking at that so then when they you know even if I post quotes on my page people are like are you are you good are you good I'm like I'm just yeah I'm good man. but I'm, I'm good you know I may be going through something or I may feel some type of way right now but I'm good just like you may be going through something or be mm-hmm. feeling some type of way you know everybody has those everybody has those negative emotions everybody yeah. has those negative moments in their life and I think I think for for outside people to be able to hear people that they look up to talk about Mm. those things Mm. is like whoa it's like okay shit so i'm not alone i'm not alone she just made me even if even if even if i just respond and i'm like are you good you good okay cool they're Mm -hmm. like okay great so i'm not alone like just to make them feel like they have somebody you know and 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 i think that's my biggest thing with responding to messages it's like I'll, i'll get so many messages with people talking about like something as serious as suicide and it's like Jesus, you know like something is ser- yeah. there it's terrible but it's like just to make them feel i could say something so small but just to make them feel like you're heard that you're yeah. you're heard i see you let me know if you need anything Absolutely. you're not alone that can literally save somebody's life uh, like, yeah. mm. it can mm. literally save somebody's life and, and mm, mm, that's mm. the beautiful part about social yeah. media mm-hmm. that's, that's and i think that's what media. really made made me really want to go for this Because this is kind of taking care of all of the things that we want to do that will, you know, normally take up a lot of time to go through every single one of the comments, every single one of the DMs, every single one of the emails. Like, this kind of takes care of all of that. And I think that's what (laughs) After Class is. Like, for real, for real, for you guys who are listening and watching, we're responding to you. We're trying to, we're answering all of your questions. So, actually, now that I say that, I want you guys to comment 
either to Jazz, Arion, Full Out TV, or me. But most importantly, under like the YouTube description or uh, YouTube comments, like your personal questions. And I think maybe the next episode, we can, do we can we can an we can literally go through the questions together, read them together, and then answer them personally. We'll shout out your name. We'll shout out your Instagram. Love whatever that. the situation so is. Cute. And yeah, and we'll answer you guys' direct questions if we haven't maybe Keep covered. Keep it cute. Yeah, it, <laughs> right. Three sentences. It's gonna be some. Okay. If we haven't covered um, something that you guys want to know, but um, let this to close to close this out. Let this be yet another reminder from all four of us: from Full Out TV, John, from uh, Jazz, from Arion, from me, from my fiance Isaac's up at the building. Say, say what's, what's up, up. Say hey. Up. You gotta say <laughs> Isaac. The mic. Say hey. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? Hey, you know a lot of people. I don't know Isaac if you okay. if you've seen the comments or if you've seen like any of them, but they love you. Okay, they're like that Isaac's voice. voice. Oh shit, that, that voice. <laughs> That so Isaac boy. wasn't able to uh, be in this be in this episode particularly, but you know we'll fit him in the next one or whatever's. But yeah. like I said, let this be a reminder to um, all of you guys that we hear you, we see you, we love you. Everything that we do is for you to yeah. always be a representation. You know what I mean of the little girl that's watching us or the woman mm -hmm. that has lived so much life and is so hurt and feels so unprotected and Absolutely. that feels you know mm. what I mean. Absolutely. <laughs> feels deep. like she's alone we're here for you guys yeah. you know Absolutely. what i'm saying 100%. um so yeah uh my birthday is next week uh -huh. y'all so i'm not gonna be up in the building okay. it's gonna be a mystical birthday mystical. october 16th yeah. send me a cash app bemo okay. <laughs> me too me too right me my, birthday. Oh, my, my birthday, birthday was in April. Oh, the whole after class, true. the whole after class team, bitch, send that shit uh, over. Jasmine, Jasmine, Jasmine. Jasmine. <laughs> dollar sign. So I think what we're gonna do for next week, um, on my birthday, I think when's my birthday? Shit, I don't know if it's a Tuesday or Wednesday, but next week maybe we can, um, we can, we're gonna figure that shit out yeah, for just, for the episode. Look at John's like, face. Mm. <laughs> I was like, mm, mm, but we do have one we'll extra. Talk about it. Yeah, we'll have. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you. We have an extra episode. I'll let you know. Anyway, we love you guys so much. Have a great rest of your day. Whatever you guys are doing, you are tuning in to After Class, yo, the yo. Queen's podcast. We love y'all so much. Remember to comment you guys' questions so we can directly answer them um, in our next episode. Yes. And yeah, bitch, we love y'all. And you know, P Valley season two. Okay. Oh shit. And logging out. And logging out. <laughs> Elliot, yeah. stop it now. Every episode. No, don't, don't, don't. <laughs>